Welcome back to UCTV. I'm Sabri Locke. And I'm Joshua Morrison. And this week we'll be talking about Black Friday and this crazy weather. And a new COVID vaccine and an update on the Christmas program and so much more. Starting now, everyone in broadcasting is involved in UCTV each week. You'll see familiar favorites and people you haven't seen in a while. Yes, we're very excited. The first part of the year, we all had different jobs, and we're kind of giving some of those up to our Journalism 1 class. They're going to help us out write some of our sports stories. We're all really excited to be on UCTV each week. With the bigger class than we've had in the past, we're going to try our best to give you all the best news. Speaking of news, let's send it over to Caden with the Christmas program. Every year, the elementary puts on a Christmas program, but because of COVID, the annual Christmas program will be held online this year. The virtual program will be produced with the help of Coach Mitt's broadcasting class. Every elementary class will, take, will talk about a different country and their Christmas traditions. And of course, there will be lots of songs as usual. When Coach Schmidt was asked, he said he was really excited for his class to put this together. And he said, it's a unique and safe way to still do a Christmas program this year. Back to you, Savory Meadow. Thank you, Caden. I can't wait to see what the first and hopefully the only virtual Christmas program goes. You know what? All this COVID stuff is getting pretty crazy again. I know. I've heard they've developed a couple of vaccines. Well, let's send it over to myself. Hey guys, I'm Joshua Morrison, and hopefully I'll be covering world news in the coming weeks. As you guys have heard, there are a few different COVID vaccines. One of the vaccines is proven to be 94% effective, and nobody who has vaccinated developed severe disease. The U.S. company is submitting the data to regulators in the U.S., Europe, and the U.K. for emergency license. It expects the Food and Drug Admissions in the U.S. to consider it at its meeting on the 17th of December. Merdana said, also, November 28th was the 25th day in, the row, in a row the U.S. had more than 100,000 cases in a day. And in just the month of November, the U.S. passed 4 million cases alone. So please make sure you mask up and wash your hands so we can stay in school. Back to you. Thank you, Joshua. You know what else has been crazy lately? Black Friday and Cyber Monday shopping. Oh, I'm sure. I usually go Black Friday shopping with my Nana every year, but this year she just had us put whatever we wanted in her Amazon cart. That's awesome. I don't really go Black Friday shopping, but if I did, I'd probably buy everything. Let's see what Chrislyn says about Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So as everyone knows, last week was one of the craziest times of the year for shoppers. You may be wondering exactly how it went for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Usually there are people lined up to get into the shops, and sometimes there's even a few fights that break out. Well, due to this year being a difficult one, with many of the stores changing up the ways you shop, most of them here in Oklahoma still had their Black Friday sales. However, most of them encouraged their customers to shop online. Also, some of the Black Friday sales began a week or two before the actual date to stagger crowds. With stores having their sales online, most stores expected their sales to increase 5% more than last year. We hope you all had and continue to have a safe and fun shopping season. I'm Crystal McKinney, back to you. Thank you, Crystal. As much as everyone likes cracking jokes about the COVID thing, it is real and families are affected by it. And some families are within our community, like our very own Coach Duval has been affected. Let's send it to Lane Casey to update us on how Coach Duval is doing. As many of you know, Coach Duvall, which is Union City's head basketball coach, has been in ICU battling COVID-19. As of December 4th, he was put on a breathing machine to assist his body in getting the rest that he deserves. Our thoughts and prayers are with the coach, and we hope for a speedy recovery and to see him back on the court coaching the game he loves the most. I'm going to send it over to the high school basketball team because they have a special message for you. Hey, Coach, this is the basketball team here. Um, we wish you well. Get better. You're in our thoughts and prayers. Um, one thing you always told us was to never give up. And uh, if you were to stop yelling at us, then you gave up. Um, I'm basically yelling at you now. Don't give up. Keep pushing. And uh, you're our thoughts and prayers. You have anything you want to say? Love you, Coach. I yeah, love you, Coach. Love you, Coach. Love you, bro. Thank you, Lane. We're praying for you and your family, Coach Duval. We hope you'll be back to doing what you love real soon. Hey, Sabri, have you noticed the weather's changing? Yes, it's been freezing. But it's Oklahoma, so who knows how long it's going to last. Well, let's send it over to meteorologist Caitlin Parker. A meteorologist.
meteorologist Caitlin Parker. Let's take a look at the seven day forecast for Union City. As you can see, we're looking forward to mostly sunny skies with highs in the 50s and lows in the 20s and 30s. We've got a nice warm day on Wednesday and it's a lot better than all the wintry mixes we had last week. Now let's send it over to our fashion consultant, Marley Flowers, to see what is appropriate to wear for this weather. Hey Union City, as Caitlin said, it's been really cold outside and I have some do's and don'ts for you. First off, it's been cold out, so with the dues, we got to be layering our clothes, wearing warm shoes, gloves, beanies, a mask to keep your face warm, and to keep you safe. Maybe some hand warmers? I don't know. With the don'ts, don't be wearing flip-flops, shorts, t-shirts, summer wear. Like, don't show up with floaties and a swimsuit on. We're not trying to get sick out here. Anyways, that was my fashion statement for this week. I'll see you next week, and on to the next. Thank you, Caitlin and Marley, for informing us on the weather and what to wear this week. Since this week has had nicer weather, that means basketball games won't be canceled for that reason. Let's send it to Tyler to tell us what's going on with the games this week. After a tough time due to the pandemic, we were on pause for a while, but we were back in action against Cement. This week, your boys and girls are going to be playing at home against Gracemont. And then we travel to Binger for their first tournament of this season. I'm Tyler Ross, and back to you. Thank you, Tyler. We're ready to support our Tigers this week. Well, that's all we have for you this week. I'm Savory Locke. And I'm Joshua Morrison. And you're, and you're watching, watching UCTV. UCTV. welcomes guest star Tanner Voss after his six-week hiatus. He is ready to share his story about how he survived quarantine. He will also be playing a very special game with yours truly. And after we get in a few laughs, Senior Metatrons will wrap up the episode with a very beautiful song. So with that full schedule, we better get to it. 2020 has proved time and time again to be the year that none of us saw coming. It has given us many highs and many lows through the months but with the holidays drawing near, it was decided that we all need a little bit more cheer. It has been a year to remember, and especially to remember who and what we are thankful for. So if you all don't mind, since it's the end of the week for me, I'd like to catch up on some personal stuff. You guys know I have to check Instagram or return a few text messages, and of course, send out my weekly thank you notes. I was running a bit behind today, so if you guys don't mind, I would like to fill out my weekly thank you notes. So to start off, can I have some thank you note writing music? Thank you. Thank you teachers around the world for continuing to teach the young minds through this pandemic. We all know how difficult this has been and we appreciate all the effort you have put in to make sure we are mentally healthy and educated on the world around us. Thank you to all of our friends, family, and everyone else who has donated this holiday season. Between FFA, FCA, and the baseball and softball raffles, there's been a lot of giving this season. Many of us are asking for donations to give back to our community, and your support means the world to these students and players. And finally, thank you to our parents. Because your job is no easy task. You are raising us to be good humans and to go out and change the world. All parents have been there through thick and thin for their child. You have taught us so many life lessons and continue to love us all, no matter what. So thank you for being there for us. Now everyone, we will take a short break and then we will be back with our guest star, Tanner Ross. Now that we have all that personal stuff out of the way, we are welcoming one of our two guests this week. So please give a big round of applause for senior Tanner Voss. <laughs> if some of you don't know, in the span of the last seven weeks, Tanner has been quarantined twice and has been out for five of the seven. So Tanner, how does it feel, be, how does it feel to be back in school with people and just out in the world again? It's the greatest feeling of my life. I'm so happy to be out of the house. And since you did spend five weeks in quarantine, how in the world are you still mentally sane with spending that much time in your house? 
I just kept myself occupied, just went outside, played basketball, so just got myself through it. Did you play a lot of video games? Yes. I mean, obviously, that's all you do anyways. Do you have a favorite one? Mm, probably Call of Duty. Really? And now that you're back on campus and out of your house, do you have any big plans for this year? Just trying to get back in the gym, get ready for the season. And speaking of being in season, how does it feel to be a senior? It's just an unreal feeling. Like, it doesn't feel real at all. But. No, it definitely does not feel real. I feel like we're going to be back in school next year still. All right, with our senior year halfway over and we're edging towards the Christmas season, we just have to know, what are five gifts that you are asking for this year? The new Xbox, probably Tyler Hero jersey, Donovan Mitchell jersey, uh, and just money. I think every single kid our age is asking for money. Parents, there's our hint for the year. Thank you for joining us, but we aren't done yet. Alright guys, so we're back and we did promise you a game. It is the Best Friends Challenge. Tanner and I are best friends, and no, don't ask him if we are because he'll probably tell you that we aren't. So we are going to test our friendship right now with this challenge. We will take turns drawing questions out of the box, and the other person has to guess how they think you will answer. So let's see how many we can get right. Okay, would you like to go first? What was my favorite TV show growing up? I know this one. SpongeBob. Teletubbies. So obviously we don't know to that well. Alright, for our next question. What is my go-to drink? But sweet tea. Pink lemonade. It is. So I'm kind of thinking maybe Tanner's right and we aren't actually best friends. Since we've got every single question wrong. So let's see if we can redeem ourselves with this last question. What was the last show I binge watched on Netflix? Do you even have Netflix? No. So I guess he didn't watch a show last time he binge watched Netflix. Alright guys, thank you for joining us on this show and we'll be back next week. Wow.